We're on to question 7 of paper 2. This question is mainly areas and volumes. So the first part is finding the height of the candle given the volume. The volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. Now we're going to set this equal to the what the radius now is 5 as it, the diameter is 10 the height is h and that's also e the total volume is equal to 450 pi centimeters cubed which is given so let's do a little simplification first of all so we're going to cross off our pi's then we're going to divide across by 5 squared, which is 25. And we will get the ratio of 450 over 25. Therefore, h of the cylinder is 18 centimeters. And that's the first part. The second part is a little bit more tricky, as we have a ratio of two volumes of cones. And we have different heights we have h for the first one and 2h for the second one so what we have to do now is structure the problem and get a balance with all the information so let's start off with the volume of the cones so one third pi r squared h is the small cone one third pi by k are all to be squared by 2h is the second cone as the k, as the radius of the second cone is k times greater okay so now we have it set up and we're going to look now at the values over here so we want we've 12 and 150 so we're just going to put those down here below so we can see what we're doing. So these are ratios, so we just put in the colon. So we're going to go 12 pi colon and 150 pi for the greater one. Okay, so now we have structure and we'll start our simplification process where we start um, reducing the, the uh, values. So we've one third on both sides here we have pi on both sides, we have r squared on both sides, we have h on both sides. So from the top line we can get 1 is to k squared by 2. Alright, so now we're going to use all this information to solve for k. So we can go 1 over 12 pi is equal to 2k squared over 150 pi let's cross multiply so we can say 150 over 12 the pi's will cancel is equal to 2k squared divide across by 2 and get our square root so we're going to get k squared is equal to 75 over 12 and k is the square root of 75 over 12 which is 2.5 and that's part 2 on to part c now and we have a net of a cone and it's flattened out so they're calling it the surface area the curved surface area but that's the net it's a flattened cone so first of all we have to get the length of arc and we're going to use this formula here from your page 9 of the log tables and the second part in we're going to find the original radius of the the cone so let's start off so we can say that the length of AB is equal to 2 pi by r in this case it's we're given 8 
and the input of the degree is 216 over 360 is the total so the length of the arc in terms of pi will be 9.6 pi and that's the first part completed all right so let's look at the theory now for the the circumference so if we have the original cone before we have the net we would make a cut down here and maybe just flatten it out on a plane so this part is the curved length and the original base diameter is 2 pi r so that's equal to the length of AB so we're going to set that so in part 2 we're going to set 2 pi r the original circumference of the base of the cone is equal to the arc length of the net 2.9.6 pi so divide across by 2 pi and r is equal to 4.8 centimeters and that's part c let's keep going on to part d part one and we just need to do like a junior sort type problem where we're getting the volume of the cylinder or the cone or the sphere even so volume of the sphere is 4 pi r cubed 4 over 3 pi r cubed and in this case the r is 2.7 so 4 over 3 pi by 2.7 cubed okay and remember our, our answer needs to be in three decimal places so in that case we'll write it to 4 and let's round it so vs is equal to 82.4479 and therefore let's round that to 3 decimal places we get 82.448 centimeters cubed And that's the first part of the so we're on to part two now so we have a cross section and let's look at the description so this original spherical shape is cut across here and we're given the area of the base so if we look down on plan we would get a circle here so we want to find the length over here so let's set up the geometry as well okay so we can solve it so first of all let's get this radius down here so i want to find the radius of this circle so pi r squared is equal to 5.4 centimeters squared that's the base circle all right so we can get r is equal to 5.4 over pi and we square root that as we have r squared right so we're going to place this over here as 5.4 over the square root of over pi all square root is. so that's going to be the radius of the base the length over here between the center and the point out here is actually the radius of the sphere so we will set 2.7 over here and we have to find this part length okay which is going from the center okay from here down to here and we're going to call that x all right so we're ready to solve for x <clears throat> so we we'll use Pythagoras theorem and we can say that 2.7 squared is equal to x squared plus the radius squared so it looked like that so x is equal to let's just move everything around and bring it over 2.7 squared minus 5.4 over pi and therefore x if we solve that we'll use your calculator and we will get x is equal to 
2.36 centimeters. So we are not there yet, we just need to get the total length. So we'll add that x to the original radius of the sphere. So L is equal to x plus 2.7. So L is equal to 2.36 plus 2.7, which is equal to 5.06 centimeters. And we're on to the last part E and it looks a bit daunting at the start but we're going to be using similar triangles so we're given some information where we have the square has side length of 30 centimeters each of these lines will intersect with the midpoint so for instance AB can be 15 and AE can be 15 AF is 15 and FD is 15 so we're going to use all this information to solve for E, E, O. So first of all, we're going to establish which triangles are similar to help with our solution. This will make it very straightforward. So we can see that E, O, B, E, C, B, and O, O, B, O, C, B are all similar triangles. We're going to use this information now to solve for EO. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to find EB first. So EB is half 30, which is 15 centimeters. And we're going to find EC. So let's look at the diagram we have EB now established as 15 EC we let that as the unknown and the horizontal is 30 so EC squared is equal to 15 squared plus 30 squared using Pythagoras name so EC is equal to the square root of 15 squared plus 30 squared and we will get a result of 15 by the square root of 5. Alright so at this stage we have all the information we need to solve with similar triangles. So I'm just going to go through which triangles and which sides are we going to use to solve for EO. So we're going to take EO and we're going to place EO over its hypotenuse so that would be EB, which is 15. And then we'll take the smallest side of ECB, which is EB. We have that. And we're going to put that over its hypotenuse. So we'll have 3 out of 4. So let's start off with our number. So E O over E B is equal to E B over EC okay so therefore I can say EO over 15 is equal to 15 again over 15 square root 5 therefore we just cross multiply by our 15 so EC EO is equal to 15 squared over 15 root 5 and we will solve that with the calculator and we're going to leave it in sort form and that will be 15 over the square root of 5 or else we could write it as 3 root 5 centimeters and that's it for the leave and sort Question 7 of the paper 2 2022 exam. So, thank you for watching Maths Plus, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get your the next free video.